Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're joined by Glenn Maloney, who is the ANZ country leader at Sequence Security. Sequence Security protects hyper-connected organizations from fraud, business abuse, data losses, and non-compliance on web, mobile, and API-based applications to ensure businesses continue to run smoothly. Glenn joins us today to share more about Sequence Security, its solutions, and its latest updates, as well as discuss some of the market challenges the company helps its customers with. Thank you for coming along, Glenn, and welcome to the jam. Thank you very much for having me, Zach. So for people who are unaware of Sequence Security, what are your key solutions and services? So, Zach, we really go to market with uh, three different uh, solution offerings. Um, all uh, can be purchased uh, individually or um, do form part of a, a bundle. Um, so the three main components that we've got are API Spider, API Sentinel, and API Spartan. So think of these three solutions. Uh, I'll start off uh, API for, um, Spider first. Um, think of that as an outside in view of the environment. So uh, customer doesn't need to install anything. Um, they uh, essentially, uh, we run a top um, level domain scan across their environment and we can provide insights back into the visibility of um, you know, what APIs have, they've, they've got out there, um, where the APIs are hosted and uh, the current health of those uh, API servers. Um, API Sentinel is really, I guess, the uh, taking it to that next step. That's an inside um, out view. Um, you start to get into areas around you know, compliance, PCI, you know, ensuring that you've not got um, you know, sensitive data leaving through the APIs. And then the third component um, is uh, API Spartan. That is where you get into the really the, the detection part of things. Um, all of these are, I guess, what, what we um, um, uh, call the uh, unified application security uh, platform. Uh, Secret Security is the only uh, vendor out there on the market that uh, has a uh, offering that um, that covers that full six stage life cycle of, uh, of API security. Um, all of these solutions are all uh, backed by uh, CQ um, uh, Prime, which is our threat mitigation and, uh, and managed services offering. Uh, to date, around the globe, uh, we secure six billion uh, daily API calls, API calls, uh, eight point five trillion. Um, worth of revenue across uh, Fortune 500 uh, companies and 2.5 billion uh, user accounts uh, protected. So uh, some pretty uh, pretty serious numbers there, Zach. Fantastic. And what have been some of your major announcements and kind of recent improvements and innovations? Yeah, so look, I, I've only been on board for uh, just on uh, just on six weeks. Um, so some of the, these announcements were before I joined. Um, in June uh, 2022, uh, um, we announced the, the first unified API protection uh, or UAP uh, offering uh, to the market that, as I said, covers that full um, API security attack landscape. Um, at the same time, we uh, released uh, API Spider, which is that outside in uh, view of the environment, um, which is that really a discovery tool piece that provides um, you know, an attacker's view into any publicly exposed APIs. Uh, if I could recommend one thing doing today, jump on our website and, uh, and do a free assessment across uh, your environment. Um, as I say, you don't need to install anything. Um, I've even run the tool across uh, one of my uh, um, uh, my, my son's local uh, rugby website, and, uh, and I was quite surprised with some of the, the results there. Um, in October 2022, uh, we also uh, released um, uh, our managed services offering, which is the CQ Prime Threat Research. And then uh, last month, uh, we announced um, API testing as a, an additional uh, component into that UAP uh, platform. So that's really given that, uh, the, I guess, the security and the DevOps guys uh, and girls, the opportunity to, to really shift left. Um, and I guess, yeah, the, the last uh, major announcement would be that, um, yeah, myself and uh, Alex, my sales engineer, have, have set up in, in, here in region and, um, yeah, looking to, to go out there and uh, speak to many organisations. Awesome. And what issues in the market do you support companies with? What are some of the trends that you've seen? Yeah, look, I think, um, you know, I, I obviously don't want to call out their name, but we're all familiar with, um, you know, what happened um, late last year with uh, one of Australia's largest telcos. 
Um, that was really, a, you know, can be put down to an API uh, issue. And if you, I guess if you rewind back a, real, a little bit there, um, APIs have really become the currency of um, exchange uh, for everything we do um, digital, digitally these days. Um, I was blown away by the stat that uh, I think it's over 80% of all internet traffic today is API. Um, and I guess, you know, history shows that, you know, once these new technologies are released, um, that's where the cyber threats um, and the cyber criminals really go and start to focus, um, you know, their attention on. So, I, um, yeah, it's unfortunately it's an area that I guess is going to continue to to, to expand. Um, Gartner have come out and predicted that they reckon by uh, 2024, um, the API abu abuses um, and related data breaches are going to double um, across the, um, you know, that, that specific API um, component. Um, and Gartner, have, I guess, come out and, and said, sorry, now Forrester have come out and said that, um, you know, 2023, um, that they believe that API security is going to be the top technology that CISOs uh, are going to invest in um, this year. And, yeah, as I said, it's because, you know, organisations organizations out there don't really know what's going on. You know, it's always been, a, I guess, a business and a revenue first. Um, so, you know, these, these APIs have been spun up everywhere in different, you know, different hosting platforms, um, you know, with different levels of, of security around them. So, um, yeah, I guess, um, yeah, that's, that's sort of what I'm seeing out there in the, in the market at the moment. Um, the other interesting area that I'm, I'm starting to, to hear a lot about is, is third-party risk assessments. So, you know, some of these data breaches that are occurring out there, um, it's not really, um, I guess, the organisation itself, um, their fault. It's been, you know, other small, you know, third party, um, you know, organisations that have been providing some sort of service. So I think you're going to start to see, you know, a lot of organisations that are, you know, looking to do business with, with, with other um, organisations, making sure they go through that real third party um, risk assessment. Fantastic. And... Can you explain a bit more when we hear terms like API lifecycle? Could you tell us more about what that means? Yeah, so um, we, we put it down to, I guess, six different stages. Um, you know, the discovery stage would be the first. Um, and that's really, I guess, getting back to API Spider. Um, you know, understanding from that you know, outside in, you know, what, um, you know, what publicly um, facing APIs that you've got. Um, you know, again, that API security solution can just be run as a free assessment. Um, and then from there, I guess what you want to start to do is, um, is really, you know, get, build up a sort of inventory from an inside out um, point of view and start to catalog some of these APIs. Um, moving forward, uh, the compliance side of things, you know, I mentioned around obviously, you know, areas like PCI compliance, making sure that there's no sensitive data that's leaking out of these um, APIs. Um, and then moving forward, in, uh, you've got the detection prevention and that's API uh, testing. So uh, what we really, I guess, you know, it, it is a life cycle. It is got to be, you know, continuously done. Um, you've got to continuously scan for, um, you know, for new uh, APIs that might be popping up in the environment because it might be just that, you know, that one API that, a, you know, unfortunately a, a security or a dev, um, sorry, a, a developer is, um, you know, going to spun up. And that's going to be the one that's going to, uh, yeah, cause you issues. And if our audience would like to get in touch with Sequence Security, what is the best way to contact you for more information? Yeah, you, you're welcome to reach out directly to myself. Uh, my email address is uh, glenn.maloney, that's G-L-E-N dot Maloney, M-A-L-O-N-E-Y, at sequence, C-E-Q-U-E-N-C-E dot AI uh, our website is just sequence.ai and uh, yeah I, I'd highly encourage you that um, even you're welcome to do it across your, your, your tech day uh, website is uh, go and run that uh, that free uh, assessment so that's just sequence.ai forward slash assessment uh, you might be uh, interested in some of the results that you get back there Zach. Fantastic well it has been great to learn more about sequence security and how you support your customers and navigating the API space. Thank you so much for joining us on the jam today, Glenn. We look forward to really, hearing more from Sequence Security soon. Really appreciate your time. Thank you.